last day of Newport Boat Show. And we're just uh, on our way to the TF10 and uh, see if our good friend Sven from DNA Performance can give us a bit of a tour of the boat. <laughs> about wow that's really cool so how, how does this compare with a moth or something it's a little bigger of course and uh, the whole incentive is to uh, to get you out with your friends and, uh, and get a platform that you could easily learn the first steps in foiling um, what we do is we keep all the boards down all the time so we don't work on on the boards like you've seen on the full GP and America's Cup um, yeah, I'll show you down, uh, Colin. We have electric actuators for both uh, the decker boards and the rudder foils. We have push button control, so the minute I move this one, the decker boards are moving as well. R setting the correct rake angles, angle of attack for the boat for foils. You even use rudder differential to add some more writing moment. So and once that is set, can you, can you explain it a little bit? Writing moment. What, what does the rudder differential do? Well, actually, what, what you see is we have lift of all the foils, but what you can do is on the windward side, you can put a lot more people on the deck to, to have more weight to prevent the boat from uh, flipping over, I would say. Um, with the big elevators there in the, in the rudders, if we, if we give them ne negative lift, it actually works like more more crew sitting on the bench. So it's like a downforce in Formula One. It's downforce like Formula One. Max, uh, Max is using it too, and in his Red Bull, and we're using it on the TF10. Wow, yeah. well, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't, it ain't much. much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us a bit more about these foils, because these foils are not standard L foils, they're, they're quite different. Yeah, we, we chose for a more forgiven setup. So it's not a critical section. Actually, it's like, a, it's like a V, so when you have both foils in the water, it's, it's like this. And um, the, the part that's on the water uh, provides you the lift. And you can understand, the lower you are on the water, the more lift you get from the foils. The higher you get out of the water, the less lift you have, so natural forces will bring you down immediately. So that actually levels the foiling height for you. So very easy foiling. Easy foiling for, for a normal crew, yeah. So, and how do you know uh, which setup to, uh, to get, how to get it right for the foils, etc.? Well, we have a standard setting for the, for the, for the teams that are sailing. We made some uh, within the VPP, uh, of course. Um, but nowadays, uh, also thanks to the Silmon system, we can record all the rate angles that we have on certain tacks. So, we're learning while sailing. And in every yeah, sea state wind speed, we now know what kind of numbers we have to pull on the on the rake settings for the deck boards. Nice. This is the inside. You got all the power control and the PLC here. Then you got the cylon system here, which integrates all the instruments together with the PLC and the foil control system, completely in a waterproof box. And then this, of course, is the luxurious two. Well, not really two person, one person bunk. Then a uh, place for the kids and a shower. Well, chamois, really. And that's it. TF10.